Why farmers are painting eyes onto their cows' rear ends? Don't be fooled by the generations of farmers out there. Some truly inventive things are happening on farms. After all, when your line of work requires you to constantly battle the elements, competitors, and increased automation, coming up with creative ways to maintain your livelihood is just part of the job. But recently, a strange farming trend combining paint, eyes, and cow butts has emerged that's truly revolutionary. We promise that it actually makes a lot of sense. The practice is based on that gut feeling you get when you're being watched, or worse, followed. It's how we imagine a mouse must feel right before it's gobbled up by a snake. There's something about that feeling that brings out our caveman instincts. When we feel threatened, we know one thing for sure. Whatever's out there watching us must not be very friendly. We rely on that instinctive feeling to get us out of danger, but it doesn't always save us in time, especially when you're huge, slow, and a cow. Bovines aren't exactly known for their swift feet or clever minds, which puts them at a serious disadvantage in the wild. Cows are, after all, one of the most popular animals on the market, and not just in the human food chain. In Botswana in particular, cows are extremely popular among lions. All non-vegans can relate. There's nothing quite as tasty as a juicy hamburger, which for African farmers is the whole problem. You see, cows are such a favorite among lions in Botswana that they are being slaughtered by these predators left and right. Farmers can't keep up with the non-human predators' taste for beef, and their herds are being diminished in the process. At the end of the day, tenacious shepherds and smaller pastures can only help the cows so much. If these farmers want to save their herds and their livelihoods, then they have to get creative. Thankfully, in 2015, a team of researchers had an idea. It was an unconventional idea, to say the least. This team of researchers from communications biology had a theory that some farmers couldn't help but scoff at. What if all it took for the cows to stay alive was a little paint? Well, no, it didn't involve disguising the cows as predators themselves, but close. Ecologist Neil Jordan's theory was simple. Have farmers paint eyes onto the cows' rear ends. Yes, the idea is rooted in science. It seems like a bit of a wacky idea, but it does have a sound basis in animal behavior theory. Dr. Jordan told ABC News. Dr. Neil Jordan of the University of New South Wales and his team of researchers put their theory to the test by recruiting 2,061 cows in Botswana between 2015 and 2018. Their theory hinged on one factor, the element of surprise. Lions are ambush predators, meaning they rely on the element of surprise when it comes to catching prey. And think about it. If you came across a cow with a face painted on its butt, you'd be thrown off your game, right? That's what the farmers are banking on. It's what Dr. Jordan calls psychological trickery. The eyes trick the lions into think that they've been spotted by the cattle, when in reality the cows are facing the other direction entirely, completely none the wiser. The whole eyes thing may sound weird, but it's actually a pretty common evolutionary trait in animals. Different kinds of butterflies, fish, and birds have eyes on their wings, scales, and feathers that make them seem more alert to predators than they really are. You know that creepy feeling of being watched we talked about? The humans have used that to our advantage, too. In 2012, signs placed near bike racks in several countries featuring a pair of eyes successfully decreased the amount of bikes being stolen. To test that all it takes is a pair of eyes to ward off predators, Dr. Jordan and his team of researchers split those 2,061 cows into three groups. 683 cows had eyes painted onto their butts, 543 cows had cross marks, and the control group of 835 cows were left unmarked. The process of painting eyes onto the cows' butts was as simple as it sounds. They used a paint stamp to imprint the eyes onto the cows and used black paint on white cows and yellow paint on brown cows. Then they waited. And the results they collected were astonishing. The group without painted eyes saw 15 cow deaths from lion attacks, while the cross mark group saw four deaths. The experimental group, however, all survived without a scratch. Which may leave you with an even bigger question. With the cows no longer a huge part of their diet, what are the lions going to do? As it turns out, the cows weren't the only victims when they were being killed by the predators. 
the lions who kill are indirectly affected by their own predatory actions and not in a good way. When lions kill cows, farmers lose money and the lions are often killed in retaliation, Dr. Jordan said. We're estimated to be losing about 20 times as many lions to these sorts of retaliatory killings that are taken by the trophy hunting industries. According to Dr. Jordan, there's a culture of killing when it comes to managing predators in Africa. That's why he worked in conjunction with African farmers and the Predatory Conservation Trust. Saving cows from lions actually helps the lions in the long run. Of course, the painted eyes experiment is still in its early stages. When it comes to that instinctual desire to hunt, all animals are likely to pounce on prey they think they can take. Still, you have to admit it, Dr. Jordan's theory is pretty genius. I mean, even humans are doing double takes on those peepers. Please share this with your friends and family.